FlexCorp Incident Report. November 10th. Hello, Lex. Hello, Superman. Even with that ghastly bright suit, you can still manage to darken my door. Pour you a drink? I'll pass. Why would you be here, I wonder? Let me guess. Here to kill me? Finally willing to give in to that thing you fooled these pathetic people into believing you don't have. Your bloodlust. I'm here to stop you, Luthor. Really? Well, tomato, tomato. Rigging an election is one thing, but enlisting the help of the Russians, that's tantamount to treason. Wait, wait. I, I didn't rig any election. No more games, Luthor. We all know you want to be president. P president? That's that's like taking a pay cut. Or s seriously, that, that wasn't me. I didn't even run. You... you didn't... you didn't run? No. Oh. Um... Hmm. I, I guess I'll... I guess I'll be going. Break an election? LexCorp Incident Report. July 12th. Superman, thanks for dropping in. Don't worry. I was thinking of putting a skylight there anyways. You've gone too far this time, Luthor. Wrong! I, Lex Luthor. The true hero of Metropolis has never met a line he can't cross, never met a low he wouldn't stoop to, and never met a man super or otherwise. He couldn't best. My plan is foolproof. Separating children from their parents at the border? You're disgusting. Yes. Hold, hold on. What? Tender age shelters? How long did it take your sick, twisted mind to come up with that one? The hell are you talking about? That's not my plan. That... that's not your plan? No! You sure? Yeah! Hmm. Wait, what were you talking about? Creating an island entirely made of kryptonite to kill you. What else? Right... I mean, that that's bad, but... No, no. I, I get it. The kid thing is gross. LexCorp Incident Report. June 20th. I've never even been to Charlottesville. Besides, did you see my complexion in the Justice League animated series? I'm practically Dwayne Johnson. January 21st. Why would I lie about crowd size? April 15th. I don't even know, Roseanne. September 6th. Whoa. I would never pay a Russian hooker to do that. I... Uh, a German one, maybe. October 30th. Kofifi? Kofif? What the fuck is that? LexCorp Incident Report. December 4th. Cheers. I have to admit it, Lex. Over the last year, I have realized that you aren't the worst, most conniving, egotistical human being on the planet. I also have to admit, Superman, that you aren't nearly as dangerous and disgusting of a freak as I thought. <sighs> yeah. You put kryptonite in this, didn't you? I so put kryptonite in it. This is the Simplistic Reviews Podcast. They talk movies. They talk TV. They would talk about the recent engagement of Justin Bieber and Hayley Baldwin, if it weren't for the tiny problem of absolutely not giving a shit. I'm your announcer Julie. And I think it's really bad when Johnny Depp the actor is more incoherent and unstable than Captain Jack Sparrow the fictional Disney pirate. Here are your hosts, Matthew Stewart, DJ Valentine, and Justin Polizzi. Hey kids, welcome to another crazy episode of the Simplistic Reviews Podcast. For show purposes, I'm DJ Valentine. I'm joined by two guys who think the World Cup is something you drink beer out of. Newly appointed Supreme Court Justice, Matthew Stewart, and newly appointed Holistic Sorcerer, Justin Polizzi. Viva la France, guys! Viva la France! Oh yeah, those, I mean? those, Fren those you know, Frenchies, they, 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 they rule the world now, right? that the, uh, the cock is your logo? <laughs> or their mascot? <laughs> French, I didn't man. see their mascot. Their mascot's sure? a cock? Well, it's, like, it's a giant rooster. It's like a cock. 
Oh, oh, I see. I thought it was like an actual penis running around. <laughs> yeah, oh. it of, is Europe. They can get away with anything. A bunch of French like. fried cocks here. <laughs> French fried kicks. That sounds like wow. something you get at the uh, Tennessee State Fair. Isn't the World Cup mean if you win, you rule the world? Is that how? Is like world domination? Is that how it works? Um, pretty much. Yeah, unless <laughs> unless you start waving a white flag. Oh, see, you just nobody gets that reference, Matt. Nobody knows. I that know. France sorry, has, this isn't nineteen thirty-eight. Whatever. Anymore. 50. <laughs> whatever. Whatever year. Kids, France, uh, France, France, uh, France has a uh, <laughs> reputation <laughs> reputation for surrendering. Apparently, quickly, <laughs> quickly, fast. Very quickly fast. Yes. without a fight. Yeah, no. Fight. It's like when you play jingle with France, they just knock the fucking thing over. They just <laughs> fuck it. It's I like, lost. <laughs> it's like we have to go. We don't have, we have time. A silly American game like silly Jinga. American jinga. 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 That's our horrible French accent. <laughs> we better get better because they rule the world now. now the official language is not French. <laughs> the so, official uh, language, at least for the next week, is French. <laughs> International talk like a French guy. <laughs> Day. Next week, huh? Yeah, next week. Next week. Get my cock shirt out. Suck oh. the blue. <laughs> Suck the blue? Suck the blue! <laughs> Suck the blue! Oh, God. Yeah, but they so won. Was, good, yeah, good on them. They beat uh, Croatia, which means that Vladimir Putin is probably going to have a whole bunch of people murdered. I mean, which is like well, a Tuesday for him. So. Uh, or he'll, crush, he'll crochet them a new dress. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they only crochet in Croatia. <laughs> was That's he right. there? At the, I, haven't, I didn't he, watch he the game. Was, but he, I, was, I he, was, he was hanging with the French president. And, uh, yeah. he's, he's in Helsinki. He's, 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 he's in, in every new country. Russia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's, I mean, people think we don't have, uh, Bond villains are too over the top, man. Vladimir Putin is literally a Bond villain. Like, you know, people yes. would say that, but I don't, I don't see it. He, you don't looks, see it. Well, he's like, isn't he short? I don't know. He's the guy like rides a fucking horses. bear. Horse, he's like riding horses. Bo- horses and bears. Yeah, he has a fucking shirt. crazy I think, I think man. It's all, Shirtless it's all like, the time. What's the yeah. guy from fucking uh, Moonraker? But I think, what's the, I think what's it's like The dress? Rock. Like it's, it's all an ego thing. It's not real. Like The Rock isn't really that big. Yeah, no, rock. rock is rock is huge. It's all it's all it's all, all the way you, sh- you shoot photos and lenses and everything. Yeah, so you think the rock is short? You think the rock is like fucking like yeah. two feet tall? I feel like the, I feel like the rock is about five ten. Five ten, pushing maybe a buck fifty. Yeah, buck fifty. Yeah, it's like three hundred pounds. It's all a dog and pony show. Yeah, you just oil him up. He looks muscular with oil on him. Yeah, <laughs> don't oil that man up. Let me let me get a really good look at him. What's the name of the the, the evil organization that, uh, that that Bond is always going lethal? <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> it might be not in the Andy Sedaris uh, expanding universe. Not in that. We're, thinking, we're keeping it classic here, Justin. Oh, oh. That's the only fun part when we do these that I lethal. enjoy. Andy Sedaris films. Matt, Justin, would you like to tell everybody what Andy Sedaris' uh, term "lethal" stands for? <laughs> I think they've heard it. Too many 7, times. I think I, I think you should always remind the uh, adoring public. <laughs> if you don't know, Andy really Sedaris, know. a dead man, you know? uh, used to make these movies with Playboy. Bunnies. A dead man. <laughs> a dead man. <laughs> the, now, the now dead Andy Sedaris. Rest in peace. Is he this dead? Is, uh, yeah. Or, or he, is he? I don't know. Yeah. Or if it wasn't we, the drugs, it was the AIDS that killed him. Okay. Will we bring him back? Oh, so shit. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even think about that shit. Pull, pull Frank like and a, Sedaris? Pull Holy like fuck. a Westworld type shit. Oh, um, fuck, he's a fucking host? Yeah, he's I'm a host. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but I'm not Dude, saying we, go to, we I didn't figure out how to bring people back from the dead. So. That's true, that's true. But we, we do know a... how to chemically castrate people, though. That's important. Oh, come on, easily. Do I? I? <laughs> no, we do. Oh. As a, as a, as Why a trio. Why is that useful? Why is that useful? <laughs> I don't know. Bringing somebody back from the dead. Um, well. I don't know. Reanimator. I mean, so you can, you know, do things. <laughs> do th- you Dude, made it creepy. What? You just made it creepy. I don't know. <laughs> I need to. We need to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> Who I, are you? I think this does deserve more uh, looking Who into. Who do you work for? You work Who for? are you working Who for? Who don't I work for? <laughs> so Putin? Oh, it's all Putin? coming full circle. Yep. Matthew, full circle. Uh, agent of Putin. <laughs> you don't look like you even know how to crack an egg correctly. I huh? want to see the TV show. Agent of Putin. Agent of Putin. What would, what would Putin stand? P U T I N. Uh, people United for no, no, no. It's the. Be under. People under tyrannical, uh, insane. Interna- international. <laughs> international. Ne- necrophilia. And literally, they didn't know that Putin was sending a nuclear missile their direction right now. <laughs> I hear you're talking bad about me on your little podcast. Uh, 
big fan, big fan. Big, first big time fan of the show. Oh, hey, first time call, here. long time missing. It's an honor to be insulted they, by you. They've, Thank hacked, you. they've hacked the podcast, so finally. Oh, <laughs> they finally did something like worth their while. They hacked our Stay podcast. Stay away from my emails. Stay the fuck away from my emails. <laughs> All my emails are like full of like, how to make your dick bigger. <laughs> Please, I'm in another country. I need $7 million. <laughs> 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 Looking for single milfs on the internet. What's wrong we with don't that? reject any spam. Spam is a four-letter word for us. I actually check my spam more than I check my ex. Like, because <laughs> it's so entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> Your uncle in Crimea <laughs> told you that he has a, a Matthew. A, a Matthew, bear that, I'm a your bear uncle from Crimea. I don't, are you going to send me fifty bucks? I send you ten dollars. Like, uh, uncle, uncle, uncle Goulash. <laughs> Isn't it now? Like I'm at JFK International Airport and I have. <laughs> Three hundred million dollars. I mean, <laughs> isn't that what it is now? Yeah, Pretty much now, yeah. Is. And I'm, I'm calling it, you it to is, come pick it's it up. Oddly yeah. specific, like they just think of the first American. Uh, I'm at uh, Statue of Liberty, and I have <laughs> suitcase full of millions. <laughs> I am in Ellis Island. I just arrived. Like nobody has been, been nobody admitted goes to Ellis Island. Ellis Island a hundred years. But I, I got this, here. I, I met this Vito Corleone guy. He says <laughs> that. Uh, <laughs> I was, just, I was just watching that the other day. Godfather 2. Godfather 2? Godfather, Godfather 2. Godfather Weren't you the one that said you didn't like Godfather? Who said you didn't no, like I, Godfather? No, I had I had never seen Godfather. You fucking Yes, that's what he said. That's right. That, I knew he said yeah. something about Godfather. So you started with Godfather 2? No, no, no. I watched Godfather 1. Now I'm watching Godfather. What do you think about Godfather, Godfather 1? Now I'm interested. What do you think about Godfather 1? Godfather 1 was good. I liked it better that, than that's part it? 2. That's it? What do you want me to say? It's good. The modern masterpiece. <laughs> modern, postmodern masterpiece. Postmodern masterpiece. <laughs> I like part one, but I don't know why people say they like part two better. I don't get it. Well, because it got it gets longer. Because it's got De Niro in it, I guess. Now. It's got De Niro in it, man. I guess I don't know. I like Clemenza. I feel, Clemenza was my boy. I feel like the bigger there's a bigger cast of colorful, crazy characters in part one. It's got Sonny Corleone. It does. Sonny's a fucking badass. Sonny's fucking the man. Fuck, he's a bad. He got them hairy shoulders in that movie. <laughs> Hey, oh. I got I got hairy shoulders too. So I, uh, Only, I, dude, I, I no, understand. you don't got James Con hairy shoulders. He's like well, half fucking. <laughs> well, he was like what ninety Harry years Henderson's. old in that movie. Fuck, I don't know. I thought the bullets bounce off of them. There's so much fucking hair on those shoulders. He looked like a fucking pro crow magnum. <laughs> <laughs> I just love him biting his fist. Like I'm gonna fucking kill this guy. <laughs> Nobody, fucking kill nobody does that anymore. Nobody bites their fist. Yeah, like, who's the last time you seen? Leo did it. Leo did it in Wolf of Wall Street. Oh, he, when he's thinking yeah, about, yeah, yeah. When he's it's thinking true. about girls. Yeah, it's yeah, true. yeah. That's, that's the last girls. time. I'm going to hmm? bring that back. Thinking about, about girls. I think he was thinking about hairless girls, actually. Yeah. Yeah, he's like, oh, my God. Oh. The yeah. eyebrows down, no hair. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. They're, they're just clean. <laughs> <laughs> Wolf oh, of Wall buddy. Street, modern masterpiece. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That is a modern masterpiece. Right that is a fucking modern masterpiece. Exactly. Anybody have a problem with mm-hmm. Wolf of Wall Street, you can come find me and we'll deal with this shit in the streets. Yeah, well, I'll, f- I'll fuck you up. I'll fuck you up, man. <laughs> I'd watch that. I'd like to see somebody go to, go to your house and be like, it's me. I got a fucking problem with Wolf of Wall Street. Holy shit, it's Valerie Putin. He's in my house. I hear you have a problem with people who don't like... Problem. <laughs> problem with Wolf of I've Wall Street. Seen, I've seen girls like that and they have much hair all over their vagina. They and like boop. peeing on pictures of Obama. I, I keep them. I keep them on, on Sunday. And I sniff them. <laughs> it's called a scratch and sniff. <laughs> Obama and Putin jokes. Only on the Simplicity News podcast. Live. Um, we're doing it. it. We're Somebody's doing it live. Live sounds like a threat. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a fucking threat. It sounds like a... F- <laughs> you ready for more of that shit? <laughs> live. <laughs> live. You assholes. Do it alive. Do, Do it, it alive. alive. Oh, wow. well, Justin, you uh, you got a smart answer for everything. So uh, I think it's time everybody see how smart you can be in a Me? segment. Yeah, how smart are you? Yeah, how Me? smart are you, smart? motherfucker? We're going to call this segment You're Questions smart? from the Crowd. They say there's no such thing as a stupid question. Yeah? Let's test that. It's Questions from the Crowd with Justin Polizzi. And that's why I apologize. But let me make it clear. A zoo is a jungle. Okay? And in the jungle, everyone is naked. But also, middle school students don't belong in the jungle. They would never take a field trip to the jungle. So why the fuck are they there? I guess if I was The Rock, 
then everyone would be okay with it. Because according to the world, The Rock can't do anything wrong. Any questions? Uh, Dustin, Dustin Lizzie, Dustin Lizzie. Yes, yes, uh, over here. The darker one. <laughs> Bob, Bob Apple, Toledo star. Uh, how, do you Bob. Feel ab- uh, how do you feel about Alan Taylor doing a, a Soprano sequel or a uh, movie? The prequel, yeah. I, I, you know, I'm okay with prequel, it. Yeah. We, 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 need, we need more movies in the world today, especially properties that have already began told and close the story but fuck it can't get any worse than that next question oh hey, hey uh Pelosi. mr 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 Pelosi, mr Pelosi right here right here yes well, the jewish one uh, slow-mo beaten off from the tundra drums ah. Cl- chloe bennett and logan paula dating what's up with that yeah i don't know man i just i just saw that the fuck is her problem needs to get her head checked any other questions I'm Justin Blizzy, Mr. Blizzy, Mr. Blizzy. You, yes, you, you, the, uh, the lightning. Uh, Dick Rash, Daily Leak. Uh, Dick? With, yeah. Uh, with Idris Elba joining the cast of yes, uh, the Hobbs and Shaw film, speaking of The Rock, uh, okay, and Dick. the John Wick director directed it. Uh, do you think that movie will actually be good? Why the fuck not? <laughs> Fucking Luther. I mean, let's be honest. Is that even a question? Y- y- yes, it was at a question mark at the end of it, so it's a question, sir. Wait, it has The Rock in it, doesn't it? It does have The Rock in it. Ah, uh, fuck that movie. <laughs> Fuck it. Why do we need more fucking spinoffs of fucking franchises that really aren't that good? Looking at you, Jurassic Car World. <laughs> fucking assholes. <laughs> fucking rock. He's something, isn't he? You know, for the for the hardcore conservatives out there, let me put it in, in this, this tone. He's like an immigrant coming in and taking jobs. Away from Vin Diesel. <laughs> Does anyone care about Vin Diesel anymore? So what if he's gay? Next question. That's it. That's it. That's yes. It. Hey. Yes. Hey. You over there? Hey, hey Rick, uh, he's a guy in my bottom from the uh, Porcupine Gazette. What the fuck uh, is wrong with your voice? Hey, yes. Rick, really high. He's got it in my bottom. I okay. have noticed. Okay. Are you finally ready for the sequel to Zombie Land now? I mean, it's 2018. Who isn't ready for that? Are you ready for this? I don't even remember the first one. <laughs> Refresh my memory. It was good. It had zombies in it. <laughs> what? Okay. It had Bill Murray in it. Oh, wow. The only thing in that movie. Okay. It well. had, uh, had uh, Lex Luthor in it. Oh, the good one or the bad one? I liked him. It was good. Yeah, no one really knows yet, do they? Yeah. It's kind of just left there on the table well is bill mary coming back i don't know maybe again why do we need more of these next question uh, just it, just it, just yes it, just yes it. yes you over there with the uh the boat yeah yeah who you janus uh wilcox citizen uh, are you a fan yeah. of the idea of a new mm-hmm. child's play remake yeah why the fuck not i mean uh good stuff you know, even even sorry sorry that's a second follow up. Uh, even if it doesn't have uh, the voice of Chucky in it, ooh. Well, you know what? Listen, I could give two shits anymore because, really, how many have we had already of these? Six, seven, six, seven. Yeah, no one really knows, and they're not really all that great. So, who the fuck cares anymore? Honestly, although, no. Fuck it. It's terrible. Just like the new Halloween movie. I mean, it's called Halloween. Isn't that confusing? (laughs) What the fuck is going on in this world today? Do we want another Chucky? I I don't... I could care less, honestly. I don't know why you're asking me these questions, but especially that one. That Who's the voice? Do we have a voice? Probably gonna be the fucking rock. Most likely the fucking rock. I like the rock. He's great. Fuck the rock. Oh, okay, I will. He's an egotistical motherfucker. <laughs> Next question. Uh, Just Mr. 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 Yes. Oh, yes. hello. Hello. Slick, hello. Slick, dit, slick dit witty from the uh, Daily Troll. Uh, have you ever seen an episode uh. of the show Marlin? And did you realize it has two seasons before it was cancelled? Marlin. The, on the BBC? No, it's on the, what, Marlin Wayne. It's a wonderful guy from uh, yeah. S- Senseless. You know, one of the Wayans brothers. 
I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. So I'm in living colour. Okay, I'll go fuck myself. <laughs> Marlin? Marlin. Like the apartment show from UPN? I don't know. What the fuck you're talking about? Mar Marlin Wayans. Wayans. Oh, yes, the Wayans brothers. Yes, yes, what of him? He had a show for two Let's take this step by step. Okay. Okay. That's another he's show. on that Lethal Weapon this. show, right? That no one watches? No, that's Damon Wayans. Oh, they, I always get confused with those. This is it's not daughter. a racist thing. It's just there's too many of them. It's like the Baldwin brothers. You know? Just too many of them. Next question. Uh, Justin, 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 Justin. Yes. Justin. You over there. Pretty sure I called on you many times before. But yes, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peter B, uh, the Weekly Vanguard. Uh, what, what's your feeling on... What's with uh, all the fucking English? It's, it's, it's the Queen's English. So, uh, yeah. what, what, what's your feelings of Miles Teller playing Goose's son? In oh, Bank well, <laughs> who called that one? Everybody. Did, did you call that? I, I don't remember. I, I think we all called it. I didn't hear him call it at all. I didn't get the No, I swear to God, it? I think everyone called it. In fact, does he have like a tape of something? Because I don't know how he keeps getting fucking jobs everywhere. Miles Teller. Like, a tape? What kind of tape? Whiplash? Is he I don't about know. Whiplash? A jerk off tape? Um, Hiding a body tape? Oh, 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 Some oh, kind oh. of tape? Black Maybe an 8 millimeter tape? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Some sick shit. That also got a sequel, didn't it? Y yes, sir. Yes. Huh. <laughs> That's interesting. Well, do we really need another Top Gun movie? Because after that one, for the last fucking 30 years, we've been wondering. Nothing. <laughs> so why the fuck are we making another one with Goose's fucking... What, is he going to get revenge on his father? There's going to be a line. I guarantee you in the movie, there's going to be a line like this. You know, I, I, I knew your father. That's my Tom Cruise. I knew your father. <laughs> good. He's a good He's a good man. <laughs> and then Miles will say... Yeah, it's your fault he's dead. And he'll, he'll, he'll run away, skipping away, trying to be like a manly man on the fucking, the fucking boat. And then something's going to happen. Tom's going to have to probably save him. Or Tom's going to give up his life or something. It's going to be fucking stupid. Next question. Justin! Justin! Yeah, Justin! Yeah. Justin! Justin. Hey. Oh, hey, it's... Uh... Yeah, it's uh, Harvey. Yeah, it's, it's, no, no, it's, I know it looked like him a lot, but it, it's Toad Freelance from the Unterrified Democrat. Oh, yeah, yes. yes. A, we just started with a new publication. Anyway, is uh, what do you think? Is Chris Hardwick guilty? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> yes, you, 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 over here, over here, next to the. Uh, I don't know what. That's a, what yes, you over there. Hey, would you blow me, uh, Salido Statesman? Uh, if you had it to sure. erase one of these things from existence, including all memories of it, would it be Bond or Batman? Why don't you go outside? Yes. Find a nice tree. Uh, a nice tree, okay. And fuck yourself with it. What? what is it that, that answer to the question? No, I think I answered the question. Next question. Yes, you. Yes, you. Thanks. Yeah, it's uh, Matt Stewart from Simplistic Reviews Podcast live. Um, who uh, you guys are live now? Yeah, we are. You, you get the memo about it. Sounds like a gimmick to me. Um, it might be. Anyway, yeah. uh, who in Hollywood do you think needs a queer eye makeover? <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a good question. Yeah, I was just talking about this the other day with my uh, my agent <laughs> <laughs> and. We came up with a list, a pretty good list, but I think uh, Chris Hardware would be a good one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Next question. Uh, <laughs> Justin, Justin, Justin. 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 Yes, Justin. yes. Justin. You over here. You yeah, right there on the left. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Marshall McQuickberry, uh, uh, the Puffington Post. Uh, is a R-rated Birds of Prey movie something you're looking forward to in the foreseeable future? Birds of Prey. Hmm. Well, listen. This is this is actual f a feature coming out in the theater by uh, Warner Brothers. Uh, yes, I, I believe so. Yes. Sir. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm not really looking forward to it. <laughs> you know, years back, if I was a, a small child, I would have been excited for something like this. But 
anymore. I this world is just it's terrible. It's gotten really dark, sir. <laughs> it's it's gotten really dark. <laughs> gotten cleaning dark. the films out there anymore. I, I don't know why they even try. Yeah, I see it. Next question. Hey, yes, 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 yes. You over here on the right. Because we were on the left the last time, so now we're on the right. A booty strudel from 1025 The Bull. Big fan. Thank you so much. We're a big fan big of you, fan. too. Uh, oh, thank who you. will eventually uh, be the director of the Thai Cave Rescue film? Well, that's a, that's a really good question. Um, and will they cast real ties in the film? No, they'll probably just tie, you know, they'll probably just tie up a whole bunch of rock, CG rocks, and they can do it, because then you'll have to escape a cave instead of a skyscraper. It's going to be epic. Um, it's going to be, uh, the rock's going to play, is 13, 13 tie boys? I think he's going to play 13 tie boys. I, I think, think that's yeah, what, it's a 12, ti- what, 12 tie 12? boys and one tie man. Right, the coach, right. So yes. 13 told. But that's what I've read. Uh, I know they're still working on it right now, but um, it's looking like it's going to be The Rock. He's going to play all 13 characters in this, including, uh, and they're not sure, but uh, The Rescuers as well. So mm-hmm. The Rock is going to be in the cave, it looks like, uh, in, in 2022. That's what's what I'm hearing. Are you or call Cave Scraper? Cave Scraper could be. Could be part of the uh, Scraping Universe. Ooh. Um, that's what they're looking at. Um, but we'll see. He, he might have to lose an arm is what I'm hearing. I don't tell anybody that, but, uh, it's going to be at, at, to the point where after the franchise is over, they're looking to do four movies and, um, he's going to lose all four limbs. He's just going to be a, a, a stomach and a head. And then he'll be a boxing neck. Helena, the remake. Well, listen, I didn't say it. So keep your eyes out gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be big it's gonna be great it's gonna be fantastic any other questions yeah, just, uh, just in, 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 in. all right now we're gonna go to the center because we went from the left to the right to the center yes you right over there with the uh, fluff of detroit sun uh indiana love, jones love the glasses thank you thank you very much sir uh indiana jones 5 got pushed back to 2021 uh Ooh. are you keen on seeing an 80 year old indiana jones who the fuck is who the fuck is? why are we even again again that's that's the theme of the questions tonight. Everyone needs to keep making the same fucking movies over and over again. But you know what? After fucking for this long, your dick's going to get tired and the pussy's going to dry the fuck up. So you know what? Maybe spit on it. That's what I say. Spit on it. I think he's going to die. That's my theory. I think they're going to kill him off. Is he going to die in the movie or in real life? Yeah, then I get, well, at this point, we don't know. Um, I know the, the weathermen over here in Los Angeles keep looking up, and, and they see him flying around, just flying around. And one of these days, like Billy Joel, is going to come right through my fucking house one more time. <laughs> Next question. Uh, Justin. Yes. Hey, Justin. 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 Hey. Uh, hello, Sylvester. Uh, how are you doing? Uh, so, uh, Alabama Black Snake from the Anaconda Standard. Um, what are your thoughts on uh, Kate Shortland being picked to uh, direct the uh, Black Widow standalone movie? Well, <laughs> imagine are you ready if they for, did. Are you ready for Black w- Widow? That's my question, really. So, am I ready for the movie, or do I think about the director? What? what I, I don't know. How do you get I, here? I, well, let me let me answer both Where your questions I? there because you get, you got a two here? pointer there. So your your first part there um, is if I'm ready for the movie. Let's let's go with that one. Okay, um, stop there. I, yeah, I could care less. Um, doesn't change anything in my life. Um, does Black Widow need a movie? Possibly. Why is it taking this so long? <laughs> I don't it's know. Like eight years. Maybe it's, that's gonna be like that's a decade. long time. So, what do you think about Kate Shortland? What do you think about her? Yes. Yeah, well, I, I, um, what other movies has she's done? I don't really. She's directed the film Somersault. Law and the Berlin Syndrome. Yeah, they're how, how really. How grab you? They're uh, yeah, I've I've uh, I've not seen any of those. So neither have I. Yeah, I don't. Anyone in this room? No. Nope. No, nobody. I, I, no. 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 Sorry. 
No. 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 Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. There's your answer. Yeah. Next question. Uh, Justin. Justin. Yes. Justin. 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 Edward Sizzleberg, Jacksonville Journal. Uh, the new Mortal Kombat movie that's in the works has uh, replaced the characters of Johnny Cage, Scorpion, Sub Zero with a new character whose backstory is essentially a plot of Southpaw. Oh, and Raiden's a kid. Uh, will you still watch it? What the fuck are you talking about? Is this true? This is all factual. That sounds like a terrible idea. And I don't know why anyone would go there. Plus, who's going to see it? That was a 90s fucking thing. These kids these days, they don't give a shit about Mortal Kombat. Why the fuck are they trying to make another movie? Worked out so well in the 90s, didn't it? Fucking was fantastic, wasn't it? No! Why the fuck are we making these movies again? Next question. <laughs> Justin! Hey, Justin! Justin! Yes, yes, Justin! You, you, everyone, hey, calm down. Too many fucking people. You. Justin, yeah. You all get your chance. Thanks, man. Hey, uh, I'm a cool guy from the Weekly You seem Outback. like a cool guy. I am. I kind of want to go to Denny's with you later. Are well, you let's free? Let's go. I'll buy you the fresh and fruity if That's... you're ready for it. Okay. Man, you're cool. Oh, I'm a cool guy. That's my name, bro. Come on. I mean, bro? I'm, the, I'm from the Weekly Avalanche, bro. Cool, bro. Okay. What's bro. up, bro? Okay. Yeah, so I had a real important question for you, so... Uh, Sounds like it. So who's really to blame for this news story, okay? what is it Alex Trebek... His dog, or the woman who was walking her dog near his house. What? I'm not familiar with this story. Can you? Can you? Yeah, uh... it, it's like it. It was like in a very. It was. It was actually in the Weekly Avalanche. It was like today's oh. morning edition. Uh, oh. A woman got attacked by Alex Trebek's dog. It wasn't uh, Alex that was attacking, or was it the dog? It was his I dog. know it, he's it got was, a problem was... with rabies, and it's not the dog. <laughs> uh, you well, see the mustache? Oh, you know what? I think I might have to go back and do some more research. Then. Yeah, he. Let me tell you something about this guy. I know this guy. I know him personally, and you're a cool guy. And we should go to Denny's later. Let's go. That would be cool. Thanks, yeah. cool, cool guy. But Alex, he's a motherfucker. He owes me five hundred dollars. <laughs> he borrowed five hundred dollars from me to place a bet. Okay, it didn't work out. It's been two fucking years, and I'm trying to get that five hundred dollars back. He's got rabies. Next question. Justin, 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 Lionel Lingus, uh, Missouri Herald, uh, Neil Blomkamp is doing a RoboCop movie, uh, you think it'll happen, or will Paul Verhoeven pull a Ridley Scott and take it away from him? Yeah, yeah, no, that's a good question, because, uh, I'm familiar with this one, Mm. um, out of all the last couple questions I've had, this one is, uh, something I, 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 I believe it was supposed to be the, uh, the second film. They're using right. the script from the second, uh, the original. Kind of doing a Halloween thing where they're racing the... Yeah, uh, yeah, that's interesting. Um, here's the thing about RoboCop. Um, great movie, terrible sequels. I know everyone's going to say, oh, here he goes. He's pitching about these franchises. But there might be something there. Because last one that came out was a fucking shit fucking feast! And I don't know why they thought it was a good idea. Why? Just to redo the exact same thing. But let's upgrade everything. Let's make it look sleeker. A black uniform. Yeah! I'm okay with it. I think I'm okay with it. To answer the point that you're trying to make in the question, is it going to be taken away from? Probably. Why? Because we live in a shitty fucking world we live in anymore. It's terrible. I just had some guy tell me the other day about Mortal Kombat and the kid. You know what I'm talking about. That that was like five seconds ago. I don't think so, sir. Now you're putting words in my mouth. You said, you literally just said. No, I didn't just say that. Next question. Just it. Just it. Just it. Just it. You ain't definitely not called on. You over there. Okay, like Justin, this is Gina Fangu from the Dogtown Dossier. So, I know you've been talking a lot about The Rock, but are you Team Rock or are you Team Tyrese? Oh, no, I'm Team Rock. I kind of like The Rock. (laughs) He seems like a good guy. Just not a fan of the movies and acting. (laughs) Well, what do you like about him, then? Follow-up question. Not much, but the other guy? Such a bitch. Like, literally? I can only describe them in one word. If only there was a website to describe things in one word. And that Mm. would be... Bitch. 
Not many men get on Instagram and cry because another man got in a fight with him. He's a bitch. <laughs> the Rock? Not really a bitch. Next question. Justin. Justin. Yes. Justin. 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 One last question. One last question. One last question. Okay. <laughs> Should Kevin Feige take over the Star Wars uh, from Kathleen Kennedy, or should anyone Kathleen, take it over? Kathleen, yeah. <laughs> Digby Dingle Snow from the Rivertown Center. I forgot to put my name out there. Yeah, okay. Um, great name, by the way. Thank you. Is that uh, Irish? Third, gen- third, third his, generation Irish, thank you. That's what I thought. It's his God-given name. Well, <laughs> you know, the Ferg. Fergie. Feige. I'd like to call him Fergie. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because it makes somewhat sense. Okay. <laughs> but confuses people. Right. Fer- Fergie's here? I thought you said Fergie's here. <laughs> like, good old Ferg. Like Ferg? Like yeah, Sa- Ferg. Like Sarah Ferguson? All right. Well, well if it's confusing to you, I'll, I'll call him Fig Newton. Um. So Fig, mm. we're all buddies. We're all we're old uh, college buddies. I know him personally. Right. He's got a situation I can dive into later. He's got a, a mint problem. <laughs> the guy carries around like five pounds of mints in his pockets, like open. Hal- Halitosis prob- possibly. Uh, well, you know what? They're just, I don't know. They're not in a package. They're just open. And he's afraid his breath smells and he's always, he's always throwing back a mint. But he would always offer them to you, and it's like, it's an open mint in your pocket, and you're grabbing it, and you're giving it to me, and you want that to go into my mouth. It's not a big deal. But here's the thing. He's got a lot on his plate with the Marvel Universe. Uh, Star Wars? Does Star Wars need help? <laughs> I don't know if you've seen uh, Mr. Plizzy, uh Solo, the Star Wars story. No, nobody saw it, but I mean... No, I didn't see it. I, I yeah, believe there's only three people that saw three it. Three <laughs> Yeah. And the Chinese. And the Chinese. Which is like... One billion people. Four people. <laughs> um, you know, I don't know, uh, to be honest with you, but um, that's an interesting question. And I would say, <sighs> you slipped up once. Not too big of a deal. Twice, I think, is the big issue. Mm. Right? Right. Maybe calm down a little bit. Here's the thing. This is what I told the old lady. You know, I want to shoot my load every day. I'll shoot my load every day. Wait, wait, which? (laughs) But let me say something. If I'm going to shoot my load every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I'm shooting my load. On on Sunday, I'm not going to shoot a great load. And that's where I think Star Wars is at right now. It's a very graphic analogy, but... (laughs) I got to get my point across somehow. And you you understand it, don't you? who's Who's old lady you talking about? I don't know, my old lady. Oh. That's what uh, everyone says. The old lady. Old lady. Some old lady that lives in my basement. <laughs> the thing is, <laughs> Star Wars is blowing their load. I think Kathleen Kennedy is taking that load really good. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> but unfortunately, the last load she bombed on. I'm lost. I'm lost in this analogy. <laughs> to bring Vicky in to take on that load might Vic- not be a good idea. Vicky? Who the fuck? Vicky. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. I, I forgot who we were talking about. Vic Newton. Gotcha. gotcha. Fergie. Yes. Fergie? What, what other name I continue to come up with? Um, he's a good guy. He knows what he's doing. He's playing things out. He's probably got one of those whiteboards or somewhere. I think uh, Star Wars needs a whiteboard kind of organize some thoughts maybe they shouldn't just hire people that probably don't really need the job or have the experience for the job and that's probably the issue is they're just hiring people that really don't show anything and if they give them a movie kind of like a blockbuster or a tenpole film like star wars probably not a good idea and it probably would crash and burn and i think that's what we saw so i think kathleen's doing a fine job she's got to hold back can't shoot off the load every year <laughs> Wait a year, or two, or three. Build that load up, and when the day comes, unleash that load onto every Star Wars fan out there. Because you know what? They will come. 
and they will they come, come with their mouths open. All right, no more questions. This has been Questions from the Crowd with Justin Polizzi. Eat your heart out, Sarah Huckabee. No, seriously. Eat your heart out. <laughs> we got a comment on the, uh, the Facebook. Did. Yeah, oh, God. From, from our good friend Richard. It's probably from a lawyer. <laughs> our good friend Richard. What did Richard say? He said, uh, I'm more excited for another Purge movie than more Star Wars uh, films. Over the course of the series, it's turned into an experience like The Wire, as each film focuses on a different aspect of this world, from the suburbs, the city, and the government. How about that? Well, I, well, like I saw the last Purge movie, which yeah. is the first Purge, and uh, it had a, a soldier in blackface, so I'm a pass. Uh, a what? Was, a soldier in blackface? <laughs> like, could they literally not hire, like, a black soldier? <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, you mean the last one that just came out? The one that just came out had a bunch of... Oh, uh, that's the, not good. The, the new founding fathers essentially wanted to kill all the black and Spanish people by having their soldiers dressed up like the Klan or soldiers in blackface. Yes, that mm. movie's in theaters now. Go check it out. Let's do some TV roundup. I saw The Purge and I was like, this is interesting. You know, like that first one, was it was a fun little movie. Mm. And who would have thought that within like a couple years we'd be on the brink of living in it? <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. Uh, Matthew, what have you Happy been watching Kwanzaa. on television? Merry Kwanzaa. <laughs> Happy Kwanzaa. Happy Kwanzaa. Oh, I'm, I'm up first? Yes, you were up oh, first. thanks. Jew before beauty. Um, <laughs> that's an odd and, saying. That's I've not a thing, of. folks. Don't worry. That's not, that's not, that's I, not it's not? I was about to Google it. <laughs> <laughs> Jew before beauty, quote. <laughs> You're not on the watch list. Matthew Stewart. <laughs> That's what uh, for the simplest That's what Goebbels, Goebbels used to Goebbels say, right? Used to say, "Just <laughs> before beauty, get, get into the shower." It's not about beauty; it's about being a jewel. Goebbels, calm down. Take your medication. Ah! <laughs> I'm so angry. <laughs> oh, I stung boy. my toe the other day. <laughs> I have so many problems. Complaints from Goebbels. A new show on CBS. <laughs> America's number one Number one comedy? show for Nazis. <laughs> Big Bang, right after Big Bang Theory. I it's know it's first world problems. <laughs> <laughs> it's third Reich problems for me. Like this is the worst now. day of my life. Get in the shower! <laughs> <laughs> I oh, have some so bad. We're still in TV talk. It's, it's, rele- it's relevant. Yeah, it's uh, Matthew, all, yeah. What, what, we're, we're, than, we're creating uh, new TV shows for the next generation. <laughs> I could go on for six hours. Other than complaints <laughs> from Goebbels, uh, the new CBS uh, smash hit following Big Bang Theory, what have you been watching? Oh, <laughs> uh, boy. I mean, <laughs> if only if only complaints from God, Goebbels that was show a real existed, TV show. The fuck that, show, that show. That show would kill. It would kill. <laughs> it would kill literally. It would kill. It would kill Jerry. Gold. Gold, Jerry. Gold. 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 Uh, what have we got What's here? What's this? Uh, I get a letter in the mail? <laughs> Paper <laughs> cut. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Hello! We are the new Jews that are living <laughs> next door. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Why do Jews sound like me? Because <laughs> we all come from Jesus' bosom. That's why. Right after Scorpion on CBS. <laughs> Is that still on? Yeah. What? New oh, album man. by Drake, Scorpion. <laughs> CBS doesn't cancel anything. CBS. No. But Fox does everything. <laughs> everything. It's something. They're the Fox will cancel it all. We'll put it on. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Matthew, I, think I, I think I was watching something. <laughs> what were you watching? Uh, hmm. Let's see. Well, uh, right before we started the show, funny enough, I was watching uh, the new the, that Queer Eye show on Netflix. What? Uh, yeah. Pose? What? Is that the one you're talking about? Well, queer? It was a queer. I, I don't know. Straight guy. Well, it's a new one now on Netflix. Oh, I. It's all. I it's, don't, a, it's it's a new. It's a new generation of of guys. Oh, it's are, next generation queer eye. Yeah, oh, it's like okay. queer so eye for kids. Generation. No, it's not, no, it's not like Degrassi High or anything like that. Oh, that's what I would have thought. No, it's, Drake's not in it. So, what's the one that's oh. on? Is that the one? On, is Pose the one that's on FX? Yeah, but no, but Pose no, no, but queer, queer eye is actually just queer eye for the straight guy. But they dropped. The straight guy part is that oh, what they like do? A, they they fix people up. They fix yeah. They take like I've guys never, who, they're, I've they're never like they're it. like they're like fashionly like they, they can't they fix your fashion. I, I think, like they, I, I they can't it. dress. They can't cook. Oh, um, they it's like uh, this old house, but with fashion. Oh, see, I yeah. know that with Bob Vila. Yeah, Bob Vila. Bob Vila is he alive? Yeah, Bob we're gonna Vila have him as a guest alive. soon. Yeah, 
<laughs> I reached out to him, and he literally has nothing going on. He's going to fix our podcast, actually. Yeah, he's going to come in. That, he's that, come Cuban, in. <laughs> that Cuban's going to come in. and Bobby Lane Cuban, is he? Yeah, he's he, Cuban. Oh, wow, yeah. that's cool. He's a good Cuban immigrant. I don't know how I know that, and I might be making that, that up. You know way too much about Bob <laughs> You got a problem with Bob Vila? Uh, no, I love Bob Vila. Bob Vila will fuck about. you up. <laughs> yeah, he'll fuck you up, man. Bob, Bob, Bob Vila will fucking, fucking fix your house. All right. Fucking yeah. Bob Vila, man. Bob fucking Vila. It's like, Bob. Uh, fucking see, I'm going to take a cork board and shove it right up your ass. But he's, he's going to make a beautiful set of stairs to get to your ass first. Because they're big. We, speaking of TV, we just did buy a digital antenna for the house. Congratulations. You picking anything up? Uh, about 10 channels. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah, not that many. That's all you need. <laughs> but you get like 3, 6, and 10 in high definition, don't you? Yo, yeah, it looks really good. Yeah, it does look good, doesn't it? I'm going to start watching CBS. America's number one channel! <laughs> but funny enough, we don't get CBS with the antenna. We get uh, ABC and NBC. America's number one channel. If you if you refute that claim, we'll fucking kill we'll you. Fucking fuck you up. <laughs> we'll send Bob Vila to your house to make it's sure like you pick that fucking CBS. Up. You're not number one. We have the numbers. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Bob Vila, fuck you up. <laughs> oh, so he yeah, on, Queer Eye and uh, Westworld. I, I don't know shit about Westworld. I, I know more about Queer Eye than fucking Westworld. <laughs> fucking hate Westworld. I, I hope I painted the picture of Queer Eye for you. God, you fucking Thank Westworld, you. man. Jesus. The only thing I like about Westworld is Ed Harris. And you I don't you know. You don't like shit. Westworld? I don't. I cannot stand the show that's like, hey, you season know what? Two? We're going to confuse the fuck out of you for no fucking reason. You talking about <laughs> yeah, season I'm good. two? Yeah, I've, yeah, I've, I, I just I've only seen season one two. season one. Oh, well, season two. Um, Well, I'm, I'm sure Matt would kind of agree with me. I think it's mm. better. Um, I like it better. Yeah, even, even though I hate every fucking character on the show. <laughs> See, I'm out. <laughs> that's that was uh, that's exactly the, the, what I was thinking when I was watching. Like DJ, I don't think will like the show because I don't think no. he'll like anybody. What's on the, the show? name of the show? I don't like with fucking Sam, uh, um, uh, Steve Buscemi. That had everybody, every character in the show, I fucking hated. Oh, uh, Empire. Boardwalk Empire. Boardwalk Empire. Yeah, same thing. Like, has I hate a everybody. Similar type that feel guy kind of bad. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, but I, I was, I called it early. I said yeah. I, I was out like. After Michael Pitt got it, I was like, I'm "Well, done. there was there was really good episodes though. That was really, yeah, that's really good." But are, but, are you are you liking Westworld? You, yeah, uh, uh, Justin. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it. I I, I stopped watching it uh, for the time being because um, I started watching Billions again. I think I told you guys mm. I stopped watching Billions. <laughs> yes, and I started watching it again, and and so I'm kind of been clued to that. But for I'm gonna go back and and, and watch it. I, I was a couple episodes in. It's good. It's only it's only what, it's not 10 for episodes. for everybody. I get it. The it's episodes are long too, so I mean, get ready because some of these most of these episodes are well over an hour. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was watching. Did I tell you? I, I was watching uh, Barry. Oh, you, oh did yeah. You finish it finally. Yeah, I, I knocked it out. So that was I was watching Westworld, and then I decided to watch Barry, and then I just what did I, I asked you? A, I asked you a question about that show last time we talked, and I can't remember what it was. Was it, I think it was? How do you feel about the girl? I think it was. How do you feel about the girl? <laughs> The, the oh, and, and Barry, the Barry, acting, yeah. uh, the actor, the acting chick. The actress. Yeah, I she she. Did you finish it? Yeah, I finished it. Wait, like last time we talked about, it, I was done. Yeah. I'm only halfway through. So oh, okay, well, I well, I mean, if if you, I don't care about. I loved it. Yeah. I loved it. I I I'm okay with her. I have no issues. There were some issues in the beginning, but I feel like it worked its way out, and I kind of, I kind of got it. It's it's a it's a bit goofy some parts, but. Um, I really like the, uh, uh, the 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 mob guy. Um, the, 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 I think the show's sweet spot for me is anytime Barry's with Victor Zaz. Yeah, I forget his name. Yeah, but the guy who uh, plays Victor Zaz. So host, so host, so host Steve. Sam, Sam or Steve? So host Steve. I think it's yeah. Sam. No yeah, hope, yeah, yeah. Steve. Something that like guy, this. the guy with no yeah. eyebrows. Yeah, that fucking guy. The guy, the guy who has no hair. He's got like a bad electrolysis going on. When it's Tom, I think it's Thomas Root, Stephen Root, Stephen Root, yeah. Bill Hader, and that guy in a scene together, the, the scene is Hilarious. fucking magical yeah. every fucking time. <laughs> and the way it ended, I liked. Mm-hmm. Um, I liked. I liked. Uh, I like where it went, and I'm 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 kind of addicted. Um, I was kind of shocked at that the last episode. Though. Yeah, I, it's funny I wasn't expecting the last that. episode. I'm not going to spoil it, but it, it feels like the first season of The Punisher where you don't really need another season of this. I don't yeah. know what yeah. else you're going to do with this at this point. Well, have they, they haven't really announced anything that they're going to keep. Oh, going they'll, on, they'll, they? they got nominations. Well, now that's got all the Emmys and everything like that. Yeah, so yeah. They'll find yeah. a way to do something, I'm sure. So. Yeah. Well, that, that I don't know how up, it ends, but. That whole show was kind of thrown together because he had gotten uh, a deal. <sighs> 
with HBO mm-hmm. for like three series. So mm-hmm. they're like, what do you want to do? And they were asking him ideas and he just started throwing it together. He's like, what do we follow this, this, this hitman around? And then it became, Oh, he's going to acting and he found, so it's, it's progressed as they created the story as the season went along. And well, they, um, they were making it up as they go. That yeah. usually never works, which I, that's yeah. what I'm surprised because they're, I got addicted to it, especially, um, with the characters and, and, and where the story goes and how it I ends. would watch a Soho Sam Steve, whatever his name is, yeah. uh, spinoff at this point. Yeah, I, I, I want to know great. how he gets from Chechnya to L.A. That would be funny. I would watch the fuck out of that show because yeah. he's so fucking hilarious. Yeah, it's but, yeah. hilarious. Who'd have thought he would have been so funny? You know? Yeah, man, because I've only seen good. him in two things and one of them I hate. Matt, you it. have to finish it, man. It's, I, it's, um, yeah. that's, yeah. that's the plan. Well, we don't have cable anymore, so now we have time to watch all these fucking shows we've been trying to watch. Yeah, now. you have to finish like it. Like the Americans. Like we've been watching the Americans. Americans too. Yeah. That's all right. That's all right. What else have you been watching, Justin, other than uh, Westworld and Barry? Um, well, and billions, um, billions, and Barry and I, 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 yeah, I went back to Billions. I haven't finished the the second season yet, and uh, I'm close to finishing the second season. It's starting to get a lot better. That's that's a weird show. I, I don't even know how to describe it. There are moments I really <laughs> like, and there are moments I'm like, what the fuck? But it's it's a little wacky. <laughs> um, but that's really the only thing I got to watch because I, I, I blew through, um, uh, Barry and then I was watching my Amazon series. So, uh, Goliath, um, how is that show? I love like the, the Billy first Bob season. Thornton show. Yeah. Yeah. First season's really good. It's everything that network television wants to be, but can't be. Hmm. And the second season it's oh boy no it's good oh it's 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 far out there man oh really okay so it's just <laughs> there are moments weird. in it uh with amputees and masturbating what? What? and <laughs> what things that i'm watching Ooh. i'm like where is this going um <laughs> there's some guest. there's a whole bunch of um guest actors that really play uh david cross is in it for like four episodes yeah <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, it gets a little goofy, but I enjoyed it a fucking ton. Um, unfortunately, there's like uh, eight episodes or ten episodes or something. It, it, it feels short. Are they and, half uh, hour or the hour long episodes? Uh, they're uh, no, they're. I think they're. I think they're like an hour. Oh no? yeah, oh, okay. Might be getting that mixed up with uh, uh, Man in the High Castle. Um, um, which the second season I think was better than the first season as well, but uh, really impressed with it. Um, you should watch it if you can. It's uh, <laughs> it's it's a good show. There's you no you, doubt about you it. are an Amazon watching motherfucker, motherfucker. Yeah, well I had it. I you know it's funny I paid for it and I never use it. Now I'm using the shit out of it. Uh, <laughs> and I, I started watching Twenty Four again, which I've been kind of doing this thing where um, <laughs> from the ball- very beginning. Yeah, from the beginning. Oh man! Oh, we had I a black back. president. I bought all of, uh, all all the DVDs from a guy like on eBay for five bucks. So <laughs> Jesus, yeah. So I'm I'm I want three seasons. Some three seasons. God, you remember now. Nina and Jack? That was a yep. fucking Joker. Fucking oh, Batman those situation, were the days. Man. Those were the days, man. Well, it's funny because season one, you know, has a, a different. Uh, uh, yeah, Nina's not chick. evil in the first season. She's not. She's and she's revealed well, no. at the end. First season, or, or is it the half? I thought it was the. No, I thought she gets revealed uh, at the end that she's she, evil. At the end, there, she yeah, she, yeah. she kills somebody. No, 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 no. I know. I'm just saying she's not. But from majority of the first season, she's not. We don't know that she's. Well, the great thing Nina, about the first you know season and on the DVDs, they still have them. They have like the little um, previously uh, right. connected mm-hmm. to them on the episodes. And it's funny because in the first season, yeah, they were trying to find them what they wanted to do. And, and Jack Bauer's like, this is the longest day of my life. And it, <laughs> it repeats it over and over again. And, and there's a shot with Nita. She looks up and it's like so evil. So and clear it's that she's the like, bad guy. <laughs> I don't know who to trust. I don't know who to and, trust. And she pops up. So it was there the entire time. But her, what's great about her arc is like she was loved. Then she was hated. Then she gained the trust back. Jack trusted her again and loved her. She destroyed that again and went back and forth, back and forth. And then it just gut punched you and it was awesome. And then um, second season, I think, was pretty good, too. I mean, com- compared to what you had to deal with from the first season. And then they- Spoiler alert about Mason. Nina. It, the, the, Did you know George Mason? You remember George Mason? George Mason. George Mason. Who's that? 
He's he's, he's the guy that runs CTU. In the, oh, in yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy from Terminator 2, the father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. So I should have said that. Yeah. He's actually married in real life to Nita. Really? really? Yeah. He has a cool name, too. It's like a real... His real name is like... Um, uh, Mason. Um... I just remember that, him as the guy in Heat where he's George like, Mason. sit down! You can't watch George my Mason. TV. It's George Mason. It, his name is George Mason? I thought it was yeah. something else. In season two, he has like this great moment where he saves the world, essentially. <laughs> yeah, he flies a fucking nuclear plane. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know he what? Saves if a you lot haven't seen, what, the first or second season of, uh, you know, uh, 24. Yeah. Mm. It's good. It's age. It's story wise, it's age really good. Technology wise, not, not so because so, so <laughs> his but, name is uh, Xander Berkeley. That's his fucking real name. Oh, his oh, real wow, name. What yeah. a good yeah, name, yeah, Xander yeah, Berkeley. Is, he knocked up uh, January Jones. Who get the? Oh, oh he, you told was he the me this three father. Yep. <laughs> Yay! <Yeah. laughs> what do we think the kid's name is? The kid's name is Xander. You named yeah. it after a dad. Oh, wow. get the fuck out of here! We f- fucking solved the mystery we, we, right we, here. We cracked it here live for you. Guys. No, I think that's I think that's the real kid because I think she has multiple kids. I think she has a mystery one and then she has oh, that wow. one. She's a fucking she has a you harem think, of kids. What the fuck's going on? Yeah. <laughs> you think she's always had her? We'll kids get into that in another January? time. <laughs> so season three is really good too. I, I always I never liked season three that much, but reviewing it a, a second time, um, it's better than you remember. It's it's a lot better. Yeah, there's some there's some things in it I really like. Some actors that appear. Uh, it's funny how a lot of people got their starts. Uh, Zachary Quinto is in season three. Good old Quinto. Um, Samwise Gamgee's in one of those seasons. Yeah, yeah, that's right. There's oh, yeah, a lot was, of... Yeah, he was a dickhead. Wasn't he like a betrayer? He like saved that? everybody, though. He Or he sacrificed himself to save somebody. Yeah, oh, a lot okay. of people sacrificing themselves these days. A lot of, sacri- a lot of sacrificial people. I do but, remember uh, the thing that I remember the most out of that whole series was the way... Spoiler alert, I guess, for 24. It came out fucking years ago. Uh, the way Nina goes out is probably the coolest fucking badass moment Jack Bauer has ever had. And he has a, like a, a zillion. But when she's she goes, on the floor. I, she's like, like I got more information. Like, she goes, no, you don't. Like <laughs> no, you don't. You got no, shit you for don't. me. Yeah. <laughs> bam, 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 bam. <laughs> she's going like, for the Yo. gun, Jack. I, you I, dude, know, he's like, he's like, she was going for the gun. And, and I uh, remember my, where like, I she was. wasn't going for the gun. You were standing right in front of the camera. <laughs> you knew exactly I, the position I, she dude, was going for. I, I, I remember where I was because I was like, when he goes, no, you don't. I was like, fucking kill her. Yeah. Like, it was like a Super Bowl fucking touchdown. Because <laughs> she was the most hated character on television at a time. So uh, when she well, got yeah. it, it was just like, fuck, thank God. For her character. <laughs> but I think character wise for me, Chloe's the worst. And, Why do you um, hate Chloe? Well, she was just kind of. Eh. I hate Chloe. She comes in season three, and it's <laughs> fucking downhill on that. It's funny the sh- the show is is really good. I think all eight seasons. Is Chloe dead? Did Chloe die? I can't remember what happened to her no, last. No, uh, as far as I remember, well, she wasn't she in that before. last one? She was in that yeah, uh, she was like live a free or, or die in UK or something like that. <laughs> Another day or UK? some shit. Another day to be UK. <laughs> Another day for Jack or some shit. I can't remember <laughs> if she died or not. I remember she was in it, but I, no, she I don't was think like a. Another twenty four hours for Mr. Bauer. <laughs> but it's it's uh it's nothing like it, man. It's uh I miss that show. It's crazy <laughs> that, I used uh, that I used to have parties, man. I for every, dude, 24 for every was new season truth. I would have parties and people come over and watch the, the the first episode. Twenty four was event television, man. That was like event that's like when I started yeah. getting into like event television. Yeah. Where it was like yeah. you were you gotta be at home when fucking twenty four comes on because you don't know what the fuck the President Palmer's gonna shake somebody's hand, he's gonna get a fucking chemical overdose. You have no fucking idea what's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy great. shit happens on twenty four, man. Woo! Season two, Woo. I think, right? Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Um, I, held, I held my breath for a whole year. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, Palmer! Palmer! Well, cliffhangers, man. That's like old-fashioned television. John Logan was the fucking president? Holy shit. It was a bunch of crazy shit going on. It's crazy-ass wife. Evil. <sighs> evil. Yeah. Evil. There's there's nothing like it anymore. If you've never seen 24, yeah, guys, no, if I you like, want to have like a good soap <sighs> opera action-y television that's when show. Fox was good. <laughs> yeah, that's when yeah, Fox. Man. Yeah, Fox wouldn't cancel that fucking show. No. Rupert Murdoch <laughs> wouldn't touch that fucking show. Rupert's like, you crazy? <laughs> You're fucking crazy. Are you fucking crazy? <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> I love me Jack Bauer. He fights for America. Jack. Love me some fucking Jack Bauer. Yeah, I don't think they like the uh, <laughs> the greatest president ever being a Democrat and a black and, guy. And a black and Democrat. Then, <laughs> and then the most corrupt president ever. The most corrupt. Wow, wow it's fucking art imitating Republican. <laughs> <laughs> if art only twenty, if life. only twenty four stayed in TV and not in real life. John God. Logan. Did he die too? I think his wife killed him, right? 
Uh, I know she stabbed him. We never saw what happened to him. He, I, he died. It, yeah, he dies. I, I, if I remember, does he die? I know she stabbed him, but I don't know if they got like a. Here's a, what a, I. Here's a, one thing I remember. <laughs> we're we're getting into twenty four. There are things <laughs> I remember. Deep cuts people, on this. and things you don't. Right? You can't. Well, remember. no, no. There are things I remember. What exactly? How how it came to be? Because there's so many twists and turns. So I've I've daughter with the this, cougar. <laughs> You remember that? Yeah. Daughter with the cougar in the log cabin with Matt Dillon? With that guy with Matt Dillon, yeah. <laughs> I think it was Matt it was Ke- yeah. the guy season, from fucking season Entourage. Two. Yeah. What, what? Season three, she's working at CTU. And, yeah. uh, what the fuck is she working at CTU well, Because yeah. Jack said like he wanted to keep her close because remember, <laughs> yeah, season one. Like a summer job. Season Yo, one me. and two, he was always trying to get her to CTU to protect yeah. her. So now he's like, you're coming with me. I got to get you. You're going to work here now. Love with, <laughs> with Chase. And I remember like Chase, I hated him as a character. But I remember he got his arm cut off at one point. Hand cut off to save the fucking world, put in a fuck, put that chemical bomb in a goddamn oven or some shit. Yeah, because it was in that uh, (laughs) elementary school or whatever. Why do I remember the specifics? Well, I I remember that too, but I I was like, the entire uh, season three, I'm like, when's it going to happen? Does it happen in season four? Does he come? I don't remember him being in season four. I didn't like Jason season three. He was such a he was such a like I'm the good guy. He's kind of like the Sam Worthington. I'm the Sam Worthington guy. (laughs) I'm a a generic good guy. Hello, I'm generic good guy. Yeah. Plus he had that hairline that always pissed me off. We we could talk about 24 forever, but we're gonna take a little break (laughs) before we make this whole show 24 show. Extra uh, extra uh, bonus for the live. Yeah, (laughs) there you go. Yeah, we we can have a whole show about 24. Uh, we're gonna take a break and then we're gonna play a brand new game. MovieMavericks.com Broadcasting current box office breakdowns, movie news and reviews. Now for your hosts Jason and Trevor. Hey now, even though we're over 200 episodes deep into the Movie Mavericks podcast, it's still not too late to start listening. Where every show we give you 10 truths, 20 lies and a bunch of Hollywood secrets. It's like existentialism slipping into nihilism. MovieMavericks.com The end is just as important as the beginning, especially at a massage parlor. It's simplistic last lines. Simplistic last lines. This is the game where I say the last line set in a film and Justin and Matt will have to buzz in and guess which film the line is from. Well, this is a surprise new game. Yeah, if I say say where we're going, we don't need roads, one of these two would buzz in and say, Batman! <laughs> or you know, road to perdition. Or something. Uh, <laughs> for, uh, for, first of four correct wins Not for back to, to the future. Yeah, okay. Yeah. For he's future. legally obligated to say the right answer for that, or he his head will explode. Uh, yes. For today's game, <laughs> Justin's buzzer will be the sound that occurs whenever Adam West Batman travels from one scene to the other, and Matt's buzzer will be the sound of Skeletor from He Man laughing. <laughs> I'm going to read these deadpan, but each of you have one lifeline in which I'll read the line as close to how it's delivered in the film. So you have one lifeline. I'm going to read these normal, but if you want me to read like in the movie, you have one. Right. One time to get You're it. You're reading First them four deadpan? Wins. Reading them deadpan. Number one. You met me at a strange time in my life. <laughs> Matt? Skeletor? Yes. Uh, fight Skeletor is the answer? <laughs> no! That's his answer. <laughs> is your answer Skeletor? Final answer. Fight Club. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> it's like Skeletor. Masters of the Universe. Well, well, if you said, I'll be back, that would have been interesting. I'll be back. That, that would that, that would have been interesting because that would have been Masters of the Universe, but no, it's it not would it. Be. Uh, but yeah. now it's not. So Matt has one. one yeah, I got, well, I got a point. First to four wins. First to four wins. Here we go. I'll give you a hard one. I go. That was the easy one. Here's a hard one. Oh, hard. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, that was a little warm up. A little warm up. I should have got that. <laughs> 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 right. that? Oh, I should have got right. Are you ready? Here we go. Yeah. <sighs> Don't worry, asshole. You'll get another chance. Hey, that's not nice to say. To yeah, that. man. We're not assholes. <laughs> <laughs> Matt. Oh shit! No, I forgot. <laughs> Five. Is it point break. Incorrect. Mm. Damn it. <laughs> Justin, you can either pass or it doesn't matter if you, you can buzz in and get. Do you lose more. points in this? No, game? you don't lose points. So he can get. <laughs> you can get. You can, you can, I know. Can your, I know. I know. You can it. even use your lifeline. Oh, you I know what it is now. Now you know what it is, but you can use your lifeline if you want, Justin. Oh Have man. One. Yes. <laughs> yes. I was buzzing. 
I don't know why you're buzzing. You're the only one here. <laughs> I thought I thought he could use it again. Okay. No. No. Uh, no unless you done. get it wrong, do I get another chance? No, you're it? out. You're out. Oh fuck! <laughs> Predator. Is that the rules? Yes. Two. Correct. Uh, thank. <laughs> Thankfully, uh, I just Predator watched this movie. Predator should have been his answer, man. <laughs> of course, he just watched this movie. Uh, I, now, they're actually they're on HBO right now, so yeah. Yeah. All right, here, here we go. Uh, okay, it's one geared one. up for the the greatest one coming up for <laughs> the Predator. All right, here comes a uh, Harvey Weinstein story. This is an easy one for me, but it might be a hard one for you. <clears throat> All right. What the fuck's that supposed to mean? Because I, I know this movie really well, but I think you guys probably have not oh, seen this movie well, as many times as I have. Now. Let's put, yeah. yeah. Now I got it's a movie idea. I've seen a lot, but you guys probably have not seen so it So it's a movie that DJ me. likes. Well, I think you guys like it. It's just you probably haven't seen it as many times as I've seen it. I disagree. Oh. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even know what it is yet. Would you like to buzz <laughs> in? I think I know, know what it is. <laughs> Do I get multiple points if I guess If it you buzz in right now and get it without me even saying what the fucking movie, not even read the line, you win the game automatically. Oh, man, yeah. That's, that's, that's short <laughs> and if I get it wrong, what happens? You die. You're dead. <laughs> Fine, death. I'll go for that. The angel yeah. of death will visit you. <laughs> D- uh, Justin, do it. Yeah. <laughs> Can I pull say the tr- it? Pull the no, trigger. Go ahead. Go ahead. Away of the gun. And you're dead. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you're dead as fuck. <laughs> See, the great part about that is no matter what, I win. He wins. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Justin Justin Dying reminds me of a very special episode of another podcast. I couldn't do the way of the gun because it's so fucking easy. So I, I, I'm usually podcast is not available anymore to the general public. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Justin has killed himself off of this show too. <laughs> yeah, he's killed himself so many times. All right, here we go. One to one. Both of you guys have a lifeline left. All right, all right. Let's do this. Okay, okay. Let's work together, Matt. You and I. Yeah, we'll let's beat let's, the system. Yeah. Yeah. Both of you guys working against each other, but that's we're, uh, we're gonna find a way to whatever. both win. Uh, that's yep. what buzzes are there. All right. Uh, a guy gets on the MCA here in LA and dies. Do you think anybody will notice? Oh, come uh, on. <laughs> Matthew. <laughs> Collateral. Correct. <laughs> wow. I, I think I've seen that movie more than you. I don't know. I, I own that movie, so I don't know. I own it too. You own Collateral? Yeah. All right. Who owns it on Blu-ray? Uh, I don't. I don't. I win. I win. You do. <laughs> who who owns it at Ultra 4K? Oh fuck off. Who owns <laughs> it in laser disc? Who owns uh-huh. it in laser disc? <laughs> Not <laughs> available Pre- laser disc. Is it? Justin pressed his own laser disc uh, version of it from VHS. Yeah, I'm cool. Okay, hipster okay. Like we'll, that. We'll, we'll, we'll call it a drawn collateral. Okay, but you are up two to one. You both you both have a lifeline left. Fuck, I knew did that one re- too. Did- did they yeah. release a Collateral on VHS? Was that like one of the no, dying I think that was days of VHS? VHS time. Yeah, I think it's the two thousands. All right, here we go. Bring VHS back. I'm gonna give another. I'm trying to find another hard one here because I know Matt will know one of these is so easy for Matt because <laughs> he said it many times. Uh, I'm gonna read this. One. I've, I've said it. You've said it, so I'm not even gonna read it. Oh, uh, it would be the like last question if many, I if like I mean. over the course of my entire life. It's like a given for you, so I won't even. Yes, Something you've said dicks. it many, many, many times. Yeah, here. probably it's like. Suck, suck in my dick. Yeah, that's on the last one of any movie I've ever heard. Uh, here we go. <clears throat> There's a lot of porno. There. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first line and the last line. Here we go. Anyone want to interview me? I'm an eyewitness. I was up there. I want to go with them in the car. Oh, I know. <laughs> Matt, Matt is a fucking master in this game. Go ahead, Matt. Go, it's Ghostbusters. Correct. Holy shit. He's wiping the floor with you, Belizzi. What are you doing? I'm, I'm wiping it off my chest. <laughs> Well, you know when you when you start off the the question with Matt knows this one because he says no no, no no I didn't know that I wasn't the one I said it's kind I'm of a not, foregone conclusion I'm not going to read so the one the next Matt one? knows no 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 I'm not even reading that one <laughs> I will I will maybe, say maybe if you say this time hey Justin knows this one he'll get it I don't know if Justin knows a lot well, of no, these. I, I, <laughs> I think Justin knows. No, well, no, he knows the most of them. It's just you knew it quicker, I guess. Yeah, I mean, the quicker. one that you knew the quicker. one that the one that Matt knows, I'm not going to read. Is what I was saying. I, oh, I have okay. it right here. It's, see, it's literally see, going I'm to caught, be. Loud. I'm caught in a crux for wanting to win, wanting to prolong this game. No, it's okay. And three, <laughs> it's okay. I'll just the pub- Matt. <laughs> I'll just bring up 24 again. Yes, it's true. We'll just yeah, pull the time with 24. True. It's okay. Uh, here we go. G- give us a 24 <laughs> quote. Here we go. This is going to be... No, you don't. Matt will win with this game with this question. Justin, oh, you have... You have I will? Am I, am I going to win? You have three points. If you four, first four wins, motherfucker. Oh, I thought this was like... That was code for I'm going to win this one now. No, no. This this is kind oh, of a toss-up. Both of you should know this. Both of you this know most of rigs. this. So, here we go. Rigs. 
The only one I think Matt knows that you don't is the one I'm not reading, but here we go. Oh, Justin. What the fuck is that supposed to be? <laughs> the, the easy one. That's the one I'm not reading. I'm, I'm <laughs> leaving it for last. Okay, here we go. Hey, everybody, we're all going to get laid. Hey, everyone, we're all going to get laid. Yep. Now, remember, you have a lifeline where I can read it the way oh. the character says it. All right. Um... Three to one. Three to one. Yes. <laughs> Caddyshack. Correct! There you go. <laughs> We're all gonna get laid! Yeah, hey, everybody, all gonna get laid! Hey, everybody! <laughs> You're a whole lot of women. <laughs> Made you a b- big before electricity. What's that what? line from Caddyshack, Matt, that it gets me every fucking time? Oh, oh you live enough. alone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sweetheart, you live alone? <laughs> it makes all no right, sense. he just leaves. Every time he says it, I, I burst out into tears. All right, so it's two to three. Man, Justin can make a they comeback. Need, they right need here. to bring back Rodney Dangerfield. Oh fuck yeah! I would bring back Rodney Dangerfield. I love Rodney Dangerfield. Here we go. I, I want to create a Westworld universe filled oh, with people. All that we comedians want. that you know, Jackie Childs, not Jackie Childs, uh, Jackie, Jackie Childs, Jackie, Childs. <laughs> Jackie Mason, <laughs> Jackie Mason. Sorry, from the from, all from, the, from, the, from the Seinfeld cinematic universe. Okay, here we go. Okay, it's three to two. <laughs> Matt can win with this next question, or Justin could tie it. Ooh, yeah. thank you, man. Here we go. Right. Ooh, okay. Again, I'm not going to read the ones I know dun, dun, Matt will dun, dun. get. I'm, I'm going to read a really hard one. Are you guys ready? Yeah, right. Dude, the yes. Why, why, I've been waiting for the hard ones. This is a hard one. Some men get the world. Others get an ex-hooker and a trip to Arizona. Some men get the world. Some men get the world. Some people get an ex-hooker in Arizona. Some men get the world. Others get the ex-hooker and a trip to Arizona. Get the hooker. And this is a h- fucking hard one because I didn't even fucking remember this. I, I had to look. I had to look it up. <laughs> Most of these I knew. But some of them I, I was like, "What? Oh, okay." Oh, oh that's 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 a lie. <laughs> oh, wow, uh, I, I did not know that. Uh, fine. Um, <laughs> yes. Lifeline. <laughs> it's not gonna help you. <laughs> it's not the movie's not called Lifeline. Okay. Oh no, no, I know. Okay, here's Lifeline. <laughs> well, I just want to see what this. I want to. The see Lifeline wouldn't help uh, you anyway because it might. It might. Let's I'm see, not. Let's see, uh, let's see how good you are. Some men get the world, and others get an ex-hooker and a trip to Arizona. <laughs> That's what something fucking good. What is it, the Great Muppet Caper? <laughs> no. <laughs> if I did Justin Lifeline, what would I get? <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it in a different voice, I guess. I, I, he'll do... Lifeline is probably it's bad right. for this question. Lifeline's not going to really help you in this question, because it's a... Well, I, I, was, I was just interested to see yeah. what... It, it would have helped you for the last Thanks. question, because I would have been, Hey, everybody, we're all going to get laid. You get? Huh? Is there another clue we can get? Yeah, what if I like I, the clue? I, I the clue like was a, that uh, I was doing it complaint. in a feminine voice. How about that? Is it well? Is it a feminine voice or a fe- female? Yes. Oh, b- both counts. <laughs> well, I don't know. There's men who have a feminine voice. That's a female with a feminine voice. What was it? Some men want to watch the world burn. No, no, no. Some men get a hooker in Arizona. Master Wayne. That's Master not the last line of this movie. I let you down. Master Wayne. I'm sorry. I let you down. I'm so sorry. Master Wayne. I'm so sorry. Right. So sorry. Right. Pass. Let's move on. Let's yeah. get another one. Fine. What the fuck movie was this? It was L.A. Confidential. It was nah. <laughs> that was like the worst. Yeah, What's your name? I Betsy know. Ross. What's your and name? you fucking Bette asked Midler the wrong. Hate? You use a lifeline. I'm not. I can't do Kim Basinger's voice. So okay. yeah, that was a chance of your lifeline not working. <laughs> I think you need to be a little more breathy. Here we go. Uh, I'm trying to pick which one is more apropos because that, uh, these are pretty easy. Left the ones that are left are pretty easy. All right, here oh, we you, go. You, 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 these on, are all pretty easy for both. And of the these are easy for both. Word is secret. Word is fuck off. Here we go. You know that little thing. <laughs> You know what you are, a no good, dirty son of a bitch. <laughs> Apropos to the both of you. <laughs> no. You know Thank what you. you are, you dirty son of a bitch? You know what you are, a no good, dirty son oh. of a bitch. And that's And with that, the last line of the Simplistic Abuse podcast. <laughs> <laughs> the epitaph. <of> the <laughs> I'm going to put it on our mausoleum. Put it on the mausoleum. <laughs> Welcome to the, the mausoleum of the Submission of the podcast. Read the inscription. It says, you know what you are. <laughs> no good dirty son of a <laughs> bitch. <laughs> now, you can use your lifeline, Justin. You still have one. And this would help you. Mm. Um, okay. Unless I guess Justin, first. I'll use... Unless Matt, unless Matt guesses first. No, I don't know. I have no clue. <laughs> you know what you, you have are. no clue, really. Yeah. All right. Lifeline. 
You know what you are! A no get dirty son of a bitch! Hmm. <laughs> Oddly that enough, of a movie? I think that might have helped. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> Obviously, this game's fucking I, I don't want to say it did. Oh, sure, because that would give me, you know... <laughs> Give me more grief. <laughs> Did we see this movie together? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> the good, the bad, the ugly. Yeah, it's tied up. 3-3. Three, three. <laughs> you you you're, you're a goddamn dirty son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you know that line used to be a no good dirty motherfucker, but they changed it in that. Uh, ADR, oh, why? ADR, motherfucker. In the, in the rating system will allow it. Uh, here we go. The, ra the rating world. system? For all the marbles. Mm. Three three. Oh, what questions? Oh, I, I got a good one. Oh, oh, I bet you do, fucker. No more live lines, so it wouldn't help you anyway. Because I can't really do this guy's voice, and it's a, it's a clue. It's a guy. Well, we don't have any lifelines left. Yeah. I know. If I said no more lifelines <laughs> left, it wouldn't help you anyways. <laughs> even though, because I can't do this guy's voice, nobody listens to a word that I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Literally said that. All right, here we go. Yes. For, for all the marbles. All right. In her vagina. All tuna, in, all tuna in China. All the kid in Caboodle. Why don't we just wait here a little while, see what happens? <laughs> Matthew? The thing? Correct! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the, you, Lifeline. <laughs> I could, it wouldn't help you because I can't really do Kurt Russell. Fuck. Other than, why don't we just wait here a little while and see what happens. I mean, it's, it's Kurt Russell. You can't really do it with Kurt Russell. The love uh, muscle, Kurt Russell. This has been Simplistic Last Lines. A segment about enough for you to do your first line just to get through it. The one, the, the easy question that I didn't want to read for Matthew because I know Matthew would get it because it's yeah, so yeah. fucking easy for him is. So really, what? A polar bear <laughs> fell on me is the line. And I, oh, come get, on, yeah. and I that's the last line in Roadhouse, and I knew Matt would get oh, it. Oh, I was gonna say <laughs> fucking dirty dancing. That's yeah. why I guys I would never read that one because I've heard Matt say it maybe seven hundred and fifteen thousand times. Man, that's a polar lot of bear fell on me. <laughs> Funny enough, Roadhouse was playing in my local theater uh yesterday and I didn't go see it. Still waiting to do a commentary on that movie, but whatever. So Matthew, you are the winner of the game. Why don't you give everybody our information so, no. the winner? Is that is that what I win? I fucking do that every fucking month. <laughs> You got gotcha. you. <laughs> what what if I win and I ask Justin to do the uh, the, the uh, thing at the end? Tis your right as winner. Well, I am gonna click the play button to show everyone the information, anyways. So, uh huh. Look at that. See, that's how ahead of the game we are. I will. That's how good we are. <laughs> but without for, but I'll also give everybody else I'll the do information. It. You want me to do it? Do it. You want to do it? No. You got all the information. I got the information. <laughs> He's got he's he's got the fucking papers. The papers. The papers. The papers. Get the, go get the papers. Go get the, the papers. papers. Get the papers. the papers. Get the papers. Well, yes, we are simplistic reviews, mm. and you can find us on any social media platform probably known to mankind. That's true, including we're not, Twitter. We're, we're which, not on Grinder or no, we are. Are we? Oh yeah, oh, we are. Yes. Oh, oh man. Oh yeah. What's oh, our Grinder profile look like? Simply grinding. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, perfect name. <laughs> the perfect name. What's the other one too? It's uh, Bumble, not Bumble. Are we on Bumble? Yeah. Simply bumbling. Yeah. Simply nice. bumbling. Simply bumbling. <laughs> and then what's the other one? There's Twitter. A, yeah. There's simply simple tweeters. <laughs> twatters. Did you say twatters? <laughs> yeah. Of course he did. Of course he did. <laughs> And oh, Instagram, it's simply gramming. Mm. Ooh, yeah. And Facebook. Where else are we? At Simplistic Reviews. Yeah, I guess we'll look up Simplistic. <laughs> and you can catch the podcast on all your favorite podcasting apps, including iTunes, mm. Stitcher, mm. TuneIn, mm. Podbean. Wow, you're, mm. you're you're dragging this out. YouTube, <laughs> Jesus Christ! The people really want to know. And Spotify, we're... yes, we're on Spotify now. Because that's where all the kids get their podcasts. Yep, Spotify. Hey kids, hey kids, 
Spotify. Check us out on Spotify, which apparently, according to DJ, hmm? it doesn't work on uh, desktop. You can't get podcasts on desktops or something? I haven't checked in a while, but when oh. I, when you first uploaded it, it didn't it's work. It's kind of weird. I, I am dumb, so I That's, don't know. No, well, Spotify, it's a no. little weird process. It probably took us like a good year and <laughs> three months or something like that because they had to review it. Yeah. Which I'm surprised <laughs> we even got through. That's yeah. a whole nother topic for another day. <laughs> well, there is the First Amendment. We can say whatever the fuck we want. Well, Not yeah. YouTube. <laughs> so, so YouTube. Bye, YouTube. <laughs> oh, that's right. And we're on Twitcher. Twitcher or Twitch? Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> I had a stroke as I said that. <laughs> Matt, Matt makes this look easy. <laughs> Fuck Somehow it. I make this look good. <laughs> I'll just play the ending. <laughs> well, for uh, <laughs> you, Janus, and Digby Dingle Snout, I'm uh, simply grinding. <laughs> simply, simply grinding? grinding. <laughs> the last line. It's like police squad. We just freeze in place. <laughs> yeah. Let's try it. What a dick. <laughs> <laughs> This happens every fucking time I go shopping. <laughs> what the fuck is that? That was Josh Agabor. That was the first line of. Uh, That's right. In the credits of a uh, uh, part, was it part two? Two, yeah, I think. It was two and a half. Oh, I forgot. You shit. You know, Nikki got way better yeah. than me. Two. <laughs> I feel like part one is my least favorite. What the body condom flex fucking sex scene? That shit's I hilarious. Know. I like part. I think part. Two, I think this is one of the rare occurrences where the sequel is better than the first one. I don't know, man. I love part one. I must part, kill all the queen. They're the all fucking, really good. The, the, the umpire scene. That's just great. Yeah, it's good. The fucking uh, Nordberg flipping over the fucking railing, <laughs> and then killing his wife. Killing his wife. Yeah. Hey, what? 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 <laughs> That was in the post credit. That was the post. That was the after credit sequence. Yeah, I got to tell you about the killing my wife initiative. (laughs) (laughs) How you get in here? (laughs) The police squad kill your wife. Police police squad (laughs) kill your wife initiative. (laughs) I'm on neighborhood watch. Watch me kill my wife. I, dude, can you just see OJ with an iPad just in Tony Stark's house? Tony's like, hey, please, dude, put that knife down. You <laughs> calm the fuck down, don't, man. Don't kill Pepper. Thus ends another episode of the Simplistic Reviews podcast. If you've made it this far to hear my sign off, I'd like to know. How did you do it? Seriously, you managed to navigate the ramblings and bumblings of these three nutcases for over an hour and still have full possession of your faculties. Unless you don't. Perhaps though, at the end, you are reprehensibly harmed by the show you just heard, and are now in serious need of mental health. This podcast is a proud member of the Lamb Podcasting Network. Find the network at largeassmovieblogs.com. My God. What have we done? We must be stopped.